Hawks find a way to do it again. They lose 4-2 to two to the Vancouver Canucks. It was a closely contested game, but at points, the Canucks were really outplaying, out shooting, outdoing everything on the Blackhawks, especially in the first period of play. This was a rough game by the Blackhawks, but the tank keeps rolling, and uh, we see some bright spots with this team where we really are seeing bright spots and that is being of rookie number 27 Lucas Reichel who has been playing with a bunch of confidence as of late and getting on the board now and this is shows the lack of skill because the scoring is very very down in Chicago. It, if you look at it, everything, it seems like it's hard to even get the second goal of the night. This one coming in the final minute, a play for the Hawks to get their second goal of the night. Shots on net, 33-33. At points, though, the Canucks were really out shooting the Hawks. 50-50 on the faceoff dot, 0 for 3 for each team on the power play. If each stat pretty much is all even. Hits, 21-24 in favor for the Hawks. Block shots, 19-11 for the Hawks. Yes, that shows how many Hawks block shots they need. to. They had to shot, uh, block almost 20 shots tonight. Total shots per period, 10-6 to six for the Canucks in the first. 11-8 to eight for the Canucks in the second. 10 to 17 for your Blackhawks in the third. And it's a 31 31 split down the first shots on net. Colin Delia, former Blackhawk, gets his revenge in the, in the UC, and the Hawks just could not find the back of the net. It, it was a hard game to find a score, it felt like. But we do get the first goal of the night, but that comes mid a little bit after the midway mark in the first period of play. We go into the first period of play. Canucks were all controlling. They were moving the puck well, getting the opportunities off. Peter Morazic in his return to the net made some big saves in this first period of play, keeping this game at a deadlock. And then the Hawks go on the shorthanded unit at 1601 in the first period, scored by number five, Connor Murphy. His sixth of the season on his birthday, assisted by number 17, Jason Dickinson. And number 14, Boris Kachuk. And the Hawks lead 1 0 by a short handed goal by Connor Murphy. This was a nice shot by Murphy on the point with a good screen up front with Quinn Hughes kind of screening with Boris Kachuk also getting in the uh, way of the eyesight for Delia. Hawks now have a 1-0 lead. They take that 1-0 lead into the second period of play. Mrazek made some big saves. The Hawks on those PKs, though, were outstanding. They played hard and really shut down the... Canucks. So we go into the second period of play, and there wasn't really much action. It was a lot of the same we were seeing in the first, but a little bit more back and forth type of a action. Hawks did get caught up in their defensive zone a few times where they had to make some stoppage of plays, and um, Mrazek had to stand strong. He did. Hawks then Give caught up a costly goal late in action, and it comes at 19 uh, 43 in the second period. Philip Gigi Spetby scores his sixth of the season, assisted by Miller and Hughes to make a 1 1 game. Yes, 16 seconds remaining in regulation in the second period. The Canucks tie it all up. This is a rough one. Can't really fault um, Steph Jones on it as uh, the 
Well, you really can't fault um, Mrazek as the puck gets blocked and it goes off the back skate of Jones and N. So you can't really fault them both because if Jones was make, trying to make a shot block, but it kind of bounces and gets past Mrazek. So it's a tight game going into the third. And into the third, um, it's the Elias Patterson show because the Hawks were moving the puck well. Reichel, exa- honestly, was playing insane, getting some opportunities off, sco- nearly scoring a few times in the third period. He does get a goal later on, but at, the Hawks just can't get much going and can't get the second opportunities in. At 12.06 in the third period, Elias Pettersson with his first of the night, 34th of the season, assisted by Bear. And Kuzmenko makes it a 2-1 Canucks lead at 12-06. Um, Hawks then get called for a penalty after the CU goes to the box. And, well, on the PK, the Hawks fail at it this time. And, well, at 13:09 in the third period, Elias Pettersson again scores his 35th of the season, second of the night, assisted by Kuzmenko and Besser, makes it a 3-1 Canucks lead in a snap, basically. Right, what happens, though, with the first Pedersen goal, Reichel had the puck in center ice. He was taking the puck up the ice and gets checked to the boards. The um, And Whistle tried to fight the player who checked him, and um, the Canucks went down the ice, and... Patterson gets a goal. That's how the first one went in. Hawks then go to the PK after the CU gets called for it. And then Mixap and Canucks score on the power play. I meant to say the Canucks went one for three earlier on the power play. That was my mistake. So that, uh, sorry about that. But the Hawks were trying to battle and they were battling hard. They were getting some shots off and well, they pull Peter Mrazek with a few but two minutes and about and some change remaining. And well, at 18 18 in the third period, he gets on the board. It's number 27, Lucas Reichel. His fifth of the season, second in just two nights, um, assisted by number four, Steph Jones, and number 17, Jason Dickinson. This goal by Reichel. Uh, was a great shot by Jones, and it gets off the stick of Reichel. Then it goes down onto the pads of Delia, back up in the air, and Reichel bats it into the net, and the Hawks are within one. But the Hawks then pull Mrazek again, and at 18.57 in the third period, Brock Bester empty net goal for his 15th of the season, assisted by Bear. Bear send the puck up the ice, and Bester gets... um. Basically, all a one-on-one with Caleb Jones. Jones blows a tire, and Besser gets a wide-open neck, and in. That's how this game goes, and that's the night. The tank keeps rolling as the Hawks now lose five in a row, which does suck to see, but with how things are, kind of are at the end of the point of the season, they're trying to um, climb the tank standings, and... Sometimes losses like this can help with that, but we'll see how things go. Down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts were on tonight's action, and thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and most of all, let's go Hawks.